Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing well. This is mathematics. In this presentation, we want to look at this question you are seeing on the board. The question is coming from 2023 GCE Paper 1 and it was question number 15. Ladies and gentlemen, the question reads, given that f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 over 2 and g of x is equal to x plus 2. Find part a, the inverse of the function f. When you see negative 1 here, it means the inverse of the function f. b, on the inverse of the function f, where there is x, replace 5. That is b. C, the composite function. f of g of x. These are the three questions that we are going to consider. So I ask you to pay attention so that you understand. Let's start. We've been given two functions. The question is coming from a topic called functions and relations and eh? so when you are given two functions copy them first so f of x f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 over 2 we also have g of x two functions given here which is x plus 2 you go to the first part of the question. Here. We are told to find the inverse. Okay? Of x. How did I know that they are asking for the inverse? Look at this. Negative 1. So negative 1, power negative 1, it means they are asking you to find the inverse of this function. If it was g, they could have used inverse of g we could have been here please take note that this is different from this this one has got negative one meaning inverse the next question now is how do you find the inverse of a function first step you should say let this function i'm looking for the inverse of this function right so we are going to say let this function f of x to be equal to any variable or any letter. So let's say this function to be equal to y. That's the first step. You can equate it to any variable. So you say let this function be equal to any variable. After that, you are now going to write the meaning of this. We are saying where this f of x we are going to replace with what? Y. You can use R, you can use any variable. So we are going to do that. Where there is f of x here, I love me up, I'll be able to remove this, I'll put it y. So it will be like him here, y equals, then I'll copy this. 3x minus 5 over 2. That is the first step. Are we clear? So you should let the function to be equal to any variable. First step. Second step. You are now in this equation. You are now going to make x subject of the formula. Here the way it is, it is y which is the subject of formula, isn't it? But we want this x to be the subject of formula. This x to be here. How do we go about it? You look at the given function. If it has a fraction, like the way it is, it means even on the other side, make it a fraction. So, over 1. Now that you have a fraction here, you also have a fraction here. In between the z, equal sign. What next? Cross multiplication. That's the way we solve. Cross multiplication, meaning 1 times 3x minus 5. What will be the answer? 3x 
minus 5. 1 times this equals y times 2. What will be the answer? 2y. We are interested in x, in making x subject of formula. So here we have 3x. On my left hand side here, I only need this variable. Or I only need this term here. So which will be 3x equals 2y. This negative 5 will be able to cross the equal sign and it becomes positive 5. To remain with x, I don't need this 3. I'll divide by 3, also on the other side by 3. Cancel them. You have remained with what? x. Right. x is equal to this. 2y plus 5 over 3. Now that x is the subject of the formula, you just say, therefore, the inverse of the function will be equal to, you go back to this, 2, you are not going to write y here because we are looking for x. Are you saying that? There is x here. So you substitute where there is y, just substitute with x. Don't change anything. You just say where there is y here, put x plus 5 over 3. That is the way we find the inverse. I hope this is clear. We have answered the first part. We move on to the second part, B. B, they are saying you should now find this. Do you think this is difficult? They are saying in the inverse, now where there is x here, put 5. That's what they are saying. It is not in here. This, please take note. This is different from this. If I have... It is not the same as this. It's not the same as here. Let me say 5 here. These two are not the same. Here they are saying you substitute in the function, in the inverse. Here they are saying you substitute directly here. So if I say f of 5, you substitute in here where they say it. I hope that is clear. So here we are substituting in this inverse, not this one. So I'll say equals, here I'll say 2, where there is x, I've been asked to put 5, plus 5, over 3. Find the answer to that. f will be equal to, what is 2 times, the brackets indicates multiplication. What is 2 times 5? 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So we have 15 here over 3. Equals. How many 3's are in 15? 5. That is the answer. We are done with the second part. We move on to the third part. C. C. They are saying we should find F, G of X. Now, this one is composite. We call them composite functions. How do we go about it? One thing you need to understand is there are two functions here combined. Eh? We have the function f and also g. What does this imply? They are saying the second function, this is the first function here, the second function must go in the first function. So you should always take note of that. It, and it should not be like this, it should be like this. So this second function here should go in the first function. Okay, let me put it this way. Two functions, g and the f and g. f is this one. 3x minus 5 over 2. Then g of x is x plus 2. These are the two functions. Eh? Now we want to merge them. So always the second one should go in the first one. Which implies that 
This does not mean this. These two are not the same. Because here they are saying this one should be going there. That is the meaning, right? Now, when I say should go, should go, what does that mean? Well, we are saying first function, which is this one. So I'll say fg of x will be equal to. It is this function that should come in there. So you substitute where well, there is x in this function, put g, put this one here. Okay? So you are going to say 3. This is where x is. We are substituting with this function. This is coming here. So where there is x here, remove that x, put the function. x plus 2, like this. Copy the rest. Minus 5 over 2. So it means this function has gone in that. That is the meaning of that component. Simplify there now. fg of x is equal to 3 times x gives us 3x plus 3 times uh, 2 is 6 minus 5 over 2 then fg of x is equal to 3x 6 minus 5 is 1 so plus 1 over 2 the end is this difficult you have to understand here that always the second function should go in the first function that is composite would you want to learn more? Please join our online classes in mathematics, English, biology, science, and additional mathematics. Fees are very, very affordable. Very affordable. Lessons are from Monday to Friday. Two subjects per day. And you will not be able to miss anything. You will be able to receive detailed videos, exercise, pamphlets, notes, and the test. You don't need to attend any form of lessons. Here we'll be able to give you all reliable materials, all reliable videos, the entire syllabus will be covered. We'll be waiting for you if you have not yet joined. For further information on how to make payments and everything, you can contact me on zero let me write my number here on zero seven 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 four four eight four four zero so this is the number that you should be able to get me in touch thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed remember to share this video uh, so that others can also benefit like my page, follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.